and you are getting ready for Mass. I long for a cool, quiet corner, untroubled grotto in the pasture, sanctuary of birdsong by the creek. We're getting ready for church. Is my white shirt ironed? Where is my belt? How come my shoes aren't polished? Hurry up, we're going to be late. Mom, I'm hungry. Have a drink of water you can't eat before communion. What's for dinner, dear priest or cult? Don't worry, chicken's in the oven. My shoes are too tight. Borrow a pair from your brother. My hair's still wet. Get them dry in the car. Don't leave me, shrieks Maxine. We forgot her a couple of Sundays ago and didn't notice until we were in church. Sunday mass, late again. Noisy hustle through a gauntlet of pious gawking while the priest preaches in German or Latin, he also speaks English and French. A multilingual parent. Looking at the polished floor, I follow mom toward quiet coolness of the shiny brown pew. Mm -hmm. Can I have 30 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just I want to lighten it up a little bit, although the going to church one well, was a pretty funny one. Trees and old poets. Air breathes around naked branches that open and fold in on themselves. Spring buds promise a canopy, shade for a hammock where I write poems, where young robins learn to fly. Juvenile squirrels with bulging cheeks scamper to their nests. Leaves yellow and fall on cracks in the thirsty earth. I rake and burn curled up remains and words that don't fit. Beside Wascana Creek, the aging elm with roots reaching deep, knows and dreams of old poets. William Carlos Williams retires from medicine, survives a stroke, writes pictures from Bruegel, wins Pulitzer. Angela Magelski, prairie writer, pens poems in her 70s, When Earth Leaps Up, published after death. Leonard Cohen at 80 choreographs new moves, still masters the domain of desire. Frost shivers the air, I untie hammock, open my laptop. Thank you.